crowning virtue on the spiritual path until you have mastered this virtue of learning how to forgive you have not really entered the spiritual realm because every little thing will pull you down we are living in a world of imperfect people we can never expect that nobody will harm us we can never expect that nobody will do things wrong to us this is going to happen again and again supposing i ask you has anybody ever wronged you everybody will put up their hands yes swami ji it was my relatives my so and so my boss my subordinate so it happens to everybody now supposing you don't forgive what is the consequence the consequence is that your mind gets filled overcome with resentment resentment is such a terrible thing it's like pouring and toxic waste into your mind you would not allow anybody to come and throw garbage in your drawing room but by harboring resentment we are doing it to ourselves one lady came to me and said swami ji this person did this 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 look what he did to me and she went on and on about it for 20 30 minutes So I said look what you are doing to yourself what that person did is a different matter it is said to be wronged is nothing unless you keep remembering it that is why the religions of the world have emphasized that you need to forgive so how do you forgive the first thing is that understand where people are coming from we are in the material realm and everybody here is a materially conditioned soul if you were to go into the hospital and say why do i find sick people out here the doctor would say you are mentally sick in a hospital you will find sick people what else do you expect if you go to a prison house you will find prisoners there similarly we are in the material realm every soul out here is one who has been bereft of god consciousness since endless lifetimes so such people if they are selfish if they make mistakes if they uh, act uh, in ways that hurt you what is so astonishing about it bring this knowledge of the nature of the world so you will not have such amazing expectations when our expectations are that you know i am so good and everybody should be good to me that is like saying i am a vegetarian and this bull in front should not hit me because i have not eaten any cows <laughs> the bull doesn't care similarly the world doesn't care whether you are good or bad people are acting out of selfishness and they will do all kinds of things to you so when you have this perspective your expectations are not high <coughs> and that is why the disappointments are also not there when i preach as my duty i am prepared that the person whom i am trying to help 
may tomorrow turn around and try and hurt me. If that happens, I will not be surprised. That's the way the world is. Now, after understanding the nature of the world, the second is to remember that you forgive not as a favor to the other. You forgive as a favor to yourself. Like I always say, that to harbor resentment is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies. If we are not forgiving, we are harming ourselves. We are poisoning our blood. We are hurting our body. And most importantly, we are despoiling our mind. That is why the saints around the world said, if you wish to make progress, you will have to master this one virtue of forgiving those who have wronged you. <coughs> you will have to do it again and again and again. And when you move ahead, you will find that God will also have to be forgiven, your divine beloved. For he will behave unjustly with you. He will behave in hurtful ways with you. <coughs> Why will he do that? To help you move to the next stage. Because every time you overcome a hurt, you are overcoming your little self. What makes it so difficult to forgive? is that self-seeking nature, that self-centered nature of ours. And to accomplish the spiritual goal, we have to engage in a complete transformation. One saint used to say, what is divine love? Divine love means eternal forgiveness. That is, if you see the love between Radha and Krishna, Krishna is always behaving wrongly with Radha. And she has to keep forgiving him. It is in that forgiving that she is exercising her love. So spiritual love is exercised in these divine virtues of sacrifice, of self-abnegation, of forgiveness. Not in self-fulfillment, self-aggrandizement, self-enjoyment. That is worldly love. So this virtue of forgiving, it's essential to be mastered if we wish to seriously progress. And that is why we need to ponder deeply over it and try our best to never allow resentment to live in our heart. Kripalu Ji Maharaj says, Bhooli ho dura bhavana kahu ho na sapne ho pyaare Bhooli ho dura bhavana he says, even by mistake, even in your dreams, don't permit resentment or a grudge to take hold of your heart and mind. That is how much of priority the saints have accorded to the need for being able to forgive. Make it a priority, practice it again and again, and slowly you will find it becomes easier and easier and easier until it becomes a second nature.